What's going on, Ant Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. Today, today we've got a pretty exciting one. This tutorial, this video is something that I've gotten a lot of requests for. Pretty much ever since I started doing my intro title effect, people have been asking me just general questions like, hey, how did you do that? Could you make a tutorial? Now, if I'm being totally honest with you guys, the reason I didn't want to do it is because I kind of wanted to sort of just like keep that effect to myself in the sense that I just didn't want to give you guys all of my tricks. It's kind of like the classic cliche of the magician doesn't reveal his secrets, but at the end of the day, it's a pretty common effect. I definitely didn't invent the effect and I can't keep stuff from the AM crew. What was I thinking? But anyways, enough yappering away. Let's hop into After Effects and start talking about how to do this effect. The first thing I'm going to do is just go into Premiere and import a couple of my clips. I'm just going to call this the classic tutorial. Now I just imported the clip that I generally use for my intro. This is the part of the clip I usually use. And there we go. Now I've just got a simple clip inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And then I'm going to right click and hit the button with your five least favorite words. Replace with After Effects composition. And there we go. Now we have our clip in After Effects. Here's where the magic happens, my friends. So if you haven't previously done this, you're going to head to the description and download the After Effects file that I left for you guys. And by the way it is completely free so it's super easy to add this effect go over to your project panel and hit Control I on PC or command I on Mac you're going to navigate to the particle text effect that should be the file that you downloaded from Google Drive and then it's gonna import this little folder into your project panel hit this down arrow to open that up the composition I'm looking for is sand text effect and just drag that down on top of your footage and then you're gonna see some text that slowly scales up and then wait wait for it boom and then the disintegration begins so to change the text to what you want it to be you're gonna select this composition double click it's gonna bring you to another composition double click that this will bring you to three different particle files particles 01 particles 02 and particles 03 and if you want to change the text from hello which I assume you do then you're gonna double click this orange text finally you can change this text I'm gonna hit Control T on PC to bring up my text tool and just change it to whatever text you want I'm gonna change it to um, I don't I don't know uh, Jake Paul and here's a little tip for you guys if you ever want something to look more cinematic if you ever want text to look more cinematic add spaces in between the letters it instantly makes it look so much better so much more professional and so much more just cinematic cinematics like the word of the day boom and now when you go back you can see it changed all of the text I forgot I need to align it in the middle I'm gonna align it horizontally and align it vertically if you guys don't have this align panel go up to window and then right where it says align just make sure that is checked so when we go back to the first composition you guys can see the text has changed from Jake Paul and when we ran preview it as you guys can see boom it gets hit with that nice particle disintegration effect so at this point you can really just leave the text as is but I'm gonna show you guys how to customize it a little bit just so you guys can make it a little bit more your own if you so choose so to customize it I'm gonna go over to this particles composition so there's actually three different layers of particles that's going on if you turn those two particles off you can see there's another level of particles going on so when you make changes to one layer it's important to understand that you're gonna have to make changes to two layers as well so the easiest way to go about customizing this is just to delete the top two layers and then we'll reduplicate them when we're done customizing this layer. So I'll select this, go over to the effects controls, go over to particle systems two, and the place we're gonna be hanging out is under particles. Go down and here you can change the color of these particles. We can make them red, we can make them blue, green, really whatever you want. So if you wanna add some color, you easily can. We'll just make it green, cause why not? The other thing that is so cool that I actually just found out about today is this particle type effect. And this is how you really can make it your own. If you wanna change these particles drastically, you go over to particle type, select the line, and then you have all of these different types of particles. So for instance, if we hit try polygon, it changes all of them to these sick looking polygons. Is that not cool or what, dude? I think that looks so sick and it's so easy to change. And then when we play it through, we can just see these triangles disintegrating the text away. I love it, dude. I think it looks so cool. Another cool one would be like bubbles, or you can go over to like lens convex, which is kind of weird. Watch this. Yeah, isn't that cool, dude? The reason I'm freaking out about it is because I just figured it out today. So that's why I'm so excited. So once you've made all those kinds of adjustments, you can go ahead and reduplicate the layers. I'm gonna duplicate it twice. I actually think for this specific triangle particle, I think two layers is, is all I'm gonna really need. And that's pretty much it. By the way, guys, I've been getting some hate in the comments for these Beats headphones I'm using. I'd just like to clarify, these are my brothers. I did not purchase them. And when my brother purchased them, they were at least in style at that point. I know they're not great headphones. My brother just kind 
enough to let me use them because they're the best headphones available to me. I definitely prefer to use like Bose or Sony or something like that. But the fact of the matter is, is that I just ordered a new camera and I am broke. But I am super excited to get my new camera. I got the Sony a6500. I can't wait to start uploading 4K videos, shooting 120 frames and all the good stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this preset pack. If this is the first time I have been on your screen, if you have not joined the Ann Crew yet, let me tell you. The Ann Crew is a place for photographers, editors, creative entrepreneurs, aspiring YouTubers, filmmakers, and just people like that. If you fit into any of those categories and you feel like there's nobody around you who thinks like you do or who has dreams like you do, then the Ann Crew is the place for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll hopefully see you on Wednesday, but I'm actually attending a DaVinci Resolve conference for a few days, so hopefully I'll be able to upload on Wednesday, but if not, then I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.